Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to be installing my wig. This is my first time in trying to install it on camera. Not my first wig installation, but I mean, yeah. But I don't know if I'm going to talk much during this video. Only because I am in the bathroom. I didn't really know what to record it because I didn't see myself doing this. So hopefully, let me see if I can. I might even put this in the camera. Alright, so I'm repositioning the camera. I don't know if it looks different, but to me it looks different. So, yeah. And you're up high, you're up on top of my over the toilet thing. So, yeah, like I said, it's going to be a wig installation video. It might not be that good, but I mean, I'm going to show you how I do it. This isn't the way that you're really supposed to do it, but I really don't feel like doing the bald cap method and everything like that. So, yeah. So first, I'm going to start by slipping back my edges with Edge Booster. That's what I use. Oh, y'all can see the look behind me. And I just start by just putting it back. <laughs> brush, toothbrush, whatever, and make sure your edges are back. And the reason we're doing this is because if I were to do the ball cap method, it would be easier for me to do the ball cap around my edges and then glue it down. But since I'm not doing that, it's still good to put back your edges because the glue can most likely snatch out your edges. And we don't want that. So now I'm just going to put on my ball cap. I flip my arm braids up. And I put on my ball cap. I put it on all the way. And then I scoot it back. And then I scoot it back. Push like this. Just to ensure that my edges are going to be laying back. So next, we're done with the edge control. Next, we're on to putting on the wig. So this wig, I've had for a minute. I graduated with this wig. I'm in college now. I'm a freshman. But the last time I washed it, it got a bald spot. <laughs> and I don't know what to do about it. It's a bald spot here. Like in the front. I'm not sure if I should cut that or just try to do edges. But uh, people who are more experienced than me, y'all probably know what to do. But I'm not, so I don't really know what to do. So now I'm just going to brush it. And I'm going to keep my middle part just because I've been liking my middle part recently. I don't really like to do side parts, but I've been liking my middle part recently. And the glue we're going to use today is Ghost Bond XL. Y'all can see that. <laughs> that was ugly, but that was supposed to be my thumbnail. So I put the wig on. Oh, and this wig came from the beauty supply store. I got from the beauty supply store. It was like a hundred and ten or a hundred something dollars because I ended up buying this flat iron, not this flat iron, this hot comb and that was like twenty something dollars and I bought the ghost bomb before and then I bought something else that day so this all came out to like a hundred forty something dollars. Next, if you just place the wig on your head so you can see how it looks. You know, see where to put the glue. See what she's looking like. See how you're going to adjust it. So at the moment, I'm looking. This is how I want it to look. Like, I want it to look like this. I'm not going to cut off the lace. Only because I didn't cut my own lace. I had the person that was there cut it for me. So, yeah. Next, what you want to do is pull back all the hair. I don't have a scrunchie at the moment, so I'm going to use this. What you want to do is just pull back all the hair. So when you glue it down... Cool. So when you glue it down, there won't be any hair in the way. No, I'm not going to tie it back. 
have clips. Out. So I'm going to pull the hair like this. God damn it, DJ. So next. I should have been prepared, but I'm not. Because everything's in my bathroom. I got popsicle sticks, just some Dollar Tree to apply the glue. And I was going to use my cotton browns or whatever, but I can't find them. So I'm just going to use a hotel. Next, you want to get 91% alcohol. If y'all hear my parents in the background, I'm sorry. I'm going to try to play music like low in the background so y'all can't hear them because they're loud and they're in the living room. Let me just... This is for if you have any dirt or any oils or whatever. The glue is not going to stick properly. And we don't want our glue lifting like the whole purpose of us gluing is for it to lay out. Yeah. I love, don't mind me, I love the smell of um, alcohol. I don't know why. I guess because the clean smell. I'm not going to put that away right now because I might use it later on. So, we're going to apply three layers and we're going to apply these layers in sections. The only reason why I say apply in sections is because uh, one time I applied it all over and it didn't fit. Do you feel me? So, like, you want it to fit. I don't know if that makes sense. But I didn't feel like drawing like an imaginary line and trying to fit it. No, that was too much for me to be doing. So, I'm just going to put it as close as I can to my hairline without touching my hairline because last time I did it, I put it too far down. And that's not going to work it out. So, yeah. The reason I'm applying three layers is because I want this to stay up here. Like, the more layers you put, the better it stays. But that's what I'm going to do. And I was told it's better to fan it. It's better for it to air dry and air dry clear. Um, because if you blow dry it, I don't know, it's not that good. I've tried to blow dry, but it's not that good. So just let it dry. When it starts to get clear, that's when you apply your second layer. When that gets clear, you apply your third layer. And with the third layer, you wait for it to get like, it's kind of clear, halfway clear, whatever. Then you push it down with your rat tail comb and just make sure it's secure. So while we're waiting for this to dry, I'm just going to, Fast forward through this part because now I'm going to work on the next part. <laughs> but I'm gonna try but uh of course it's gonna dry before tomorrow but I mean still like right now doing the video let me stop touching it if you keep touching it it makes it sticky and it makes it probably dry white or dry dirty so let me stop touching it let me just continue let me just continue with you know the rest I might just finish this whole section out because like I said, it's getting tedious and I don't want to do this four times, but it's better to take your time. Like if you're a beginner 
I actually do like section sections. I'm I'm still a beginner, but I've done this. This is like my fourth time doing this, so. It looks decent to you. What does it matter? Like, if somebody doesn't like it, in my opinion, if you don't like it, you want to buy me another wig. You want to pay for my installation. You want to do my installation. If you can do installations, like, don't come talking about somebody else and what they got and what don't look right on them. If you're not gonna fix it, there's no point in saying nothing. Too much because you doing it's not gonna stick but for some reason my lace is a little beveled I might not do this video but this is gonna show you how like an actual beginner puts on their wigs and the struggles that they go through which I don't think this should be a struggle for anybody but it is for me did I do that right Alright guys, I'm back. Um, I'm tired. I left this on for like an hour, I guess. That was a, I mean, you can leave it on for how long you want, but I left it on for an hour because I laid down and I started doing stuff. So, yeah. This is what she's looking like. Not good. But... You know, hopefully we'll fix that. Hopefully we get rid of this white residue. If not, I don't really know what to do, but this is the trial and error of being like doing your own hair because the only time I paid for somebody to do my hair was when I had a sew-in for prom junior year and she was not even that good. Like my mama could have done a better job. But I wanted to go to somebody and yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. So, I'm gonna part it. This mousse, can I shake it up first? Yep, shake well, hold the can up right, dispense in the palm. I've never styled with mousse on myself like edge gel, and that's what made myself crunchy. <laughs> My first time doing it with mousse. This mousse I got from the Dollar Tree. This is like a new Dollar Tree find. It's this. Yeah. All right, three of these getting cut off because I have full storage. I'm getting tired of this. Like, yep. Yeah. But this smells good. All right, I'm gonna try to make this quick. Yeah, because I'm tired of this. 30 hertz straight up. Alright guys, just this is a different angle. Um my phone keeps cutting off and it's really making me mad because I have low storage and I'm trying to fix it and whatever, but this is basically the end of my video. All I did was just finish my edges and then twist added leave-in conditioner and water and then brushed it out and twisted it and then I'm going to put it into my bonnet for the night. And yeah, so to see the finished results. Like I said, it's the end of my video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, till next time.